Hey Snow Goose Hunters, it's Tracy Northup with Up North Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about the Snow Goose Hatch. Everybody wants to know what the Snow Goose Hatch is like. The guy I talked to, he says it's good. He's been very reliable the last uh, four, five, six years. Uh, I've been talking with him. He thought he has some connections to biologists, so... I get it secondhand, but this is what he's telling me. The one thing that is going to be really different this year that has, um, it's not been happened the last, uh, number of years is, uh, the coronavirus, man, uh, Canada didn't allow anybody, any of the outfitters, the Americans, to go up there this past spring. And if you've ever hunted Canada in the spring, uh, there are a lot of adults. They break up into pairs. They get super fat. And uh, it's quite a bit different hunting up there in the spring than it is in the spring here. So a lot of adults get shot up there in the spring so all those adults that normally would have died during that spring season it's thousands of them uh made it to the nesting grounds and had more babies now <clears throat> what's going to happen this fall well i have a, a license to guide up there i just have never done it yet um but the Outfitters Association has been sending out these emails and they've been sending out questionnaires. It's pretty certain, I'm pretty certain that they're not going to allow Americans up there to hunt this fall. Um, you know, maybe they will last minute. I, I, I'm not sure, but I do know that, that as of right now, it's, it's not looking, not looking good at all. So what's that mean? Uh, Canada allows e-callers in the fall. So those juvies that have never coming from the tundra don't know um, are, you know, a lot of them get shot up there uh, in, the, in the fall with that e-caller season. So those juvies that would have made it or died up there in the fall, um, are going to make it into the States. Now, what happens in the States in the fall? Not a lot, not a lot. I mean, there's some hunting on, on snows in the fall, <clears throat> but for the most part, most of the, the, the snow goose hunting is done in the spring. Uh, there are a few States that have like a fall a week or, you know, a few days in the fall that they allow you to use electronic callers, <clears throat> which electronic callers make a huge difference in how successful you are on snow geese. So, um, there's a few of those, but I, I think most of them are when, uh, you know, when the regular season shut down and like Arkansas's, I think was, uh, don't quote me on it, but I thought it was in the earlier part of November and here in Iowa, we don't have a whole lot of snow geese we come through in the uh, early part. It's more like mid to Thanksgiving time as when the snow geese move through through Iowa in the, in the fall. So I don't know how <clears throat> how many of those are, are going to get shot uh, during that season. So that means the spring season is probably going to be the first chance, uh, first crack at these birds. And, uh, so I guess if we had a good hatch and a lot of the birds that normally would have sh got shot in Canada, make it here to the States, we're probably going to have a fairly decent spring. I'm hoping, you know, there's a lot of other factors that come into there, but a good hatch, you know, all those birds making it back down is not a bad thing for us snow goose hunters.